peerless Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey small batch up in this biatch. Terrible. I look like a schmo. Remember that is. Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt and I am using a female's hair clip thingy majiggy to clip my microphone to my body. And tonight's rendition of ADHD Whiskey, in tonight's episode, on tonight's show, and today's little thingy majigger, we're doing this guy right here. His, his peerless bourbon whiskey. Peerless bourbon. If you think it peers more, you're wrong. It peers less. Peers way less. Apparently. Peerless small batch. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Looks like it deserves a little pour action from the old porter. Porsky. America. Let's do it right Oh, it's a nice, it's a nice cork on. They put on these things. This is a fancy bottle for 200 milliliters. For 200 milliliters, it is extra fancy. It's got a real cork. It says peerless right there on the top on the cork. It's just so nice. I'm gonna use my Bourbon Junkies Glen Cairn glass. I'm gonna cap it with a mash and drum challenge coin. Because that's what you're supposed to do, I suppose. And I am going to do a little reading on the old Peerless. Peerless, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, small batch. Peerless Distilling, it's registered. It says so on the label. Government warning, according to Surgeon General Women, this is the same thing we put on every single one of them. Get creative, come on. Come on, use your imagination with these government warnings. Figure it out already, just figure it out. This is a 200 milliliter bottle I purchased while I was in Kentucky. It is 109 proof, 109.1 if you wanna be so specific. 54.55% alcohol by volume. Distilled, aged, and bottled uh, by the Kentucky Peerless Distilling Company. 120 North 10th Street, Louisville, Kentucky. That is their address. Get off there. Mm. Pie. Pie crust. Pie crust, I say. It is a beautiful white shit. I hate when I do that. It drives me nuts. It's a beautiful uh, has like a, like an amber, an amber color to it. It is quite pleasing on the eyes. It's not quite as dark as you think. I think this is a four year, a four year bourbon whiskey. Look at this, this is cool. See the inside there? It's got like, your focus on there. So you can see the label. You can see through the, you can see through the bottle. And it's on the back of the label. Fresh baked pie crust. Right out of the oven, an apple pie with cinnamon. Cinnamon and sugar on the crust. That's what this is definitely reminding me of, which is kind of cool, because I love pie. The taste on the palate is, mmm. Mm, this has gotten better since I opened it. This is more pie. This is apple pie. I love apple pie. Zoinks, this is better than I remember. I was not thrilled about doing this review. Now I'm thrilled about doing this review. Hells yeah, nice. non chill filtered, strictly sweet mash. Barrel proof, no water added. They actually um, spend a lot of money making this bourbon, so that's why it's expensive. I think this 200 milliliter was like 20 buckaroos with an unparalleled 
100 year history, we preserve the quality. It's hard to read. Surpassed by none. Peerless, oh my gosh, I cannot read. It's kind of like, kind of throws you for a loop ski doopsy because of the, the, the bottle shape. Morph, morph set, mork set. Uh, mirror, twi oh, I don't know. It's like a fun house, it's like you're like reading a fun house mirror. An apple pie fun house mirror. Coats the mouth well. But not that great. It coats the mouth okay. You get a lot of the pie crust, pie crust and sweetness up front. A little bit of like a cinnamon apple on the back of the tongue. And it finishes like a cinnamon apple pie would finish if you were eating that. It's very, very enjoyable. I actually like this a lot more than I remember. There's some particulates in here. Some particulates particulating. You see? You see how particulating it is? When you don't chill filter a bourbon, you, you tend to get floaties in here. That's what we got. Um, the quality surpassed by none. Peerless caliber standards set by our ancestor, Henry Craver. Distilled, bottled, and aged on the banks of the Ohio River in the Louisville Bourbon District. This Kentucky small batch bourbon stands alone among peers with its rich and mellow taste. DSP KY50. And it's got a picture on there of uh, the old Craver. I'm cravering a pie, so I will have more of this. Apparently, uh, there are some particulates in here. They're really floating around. I mean, I'll drink them. I'm not against it. I love the little bottle. The, uh, more companies, if you're watching this and, you, and you're and you a bourbon company, do this. Make your product available in 200 milliliters so I can try it and enjoy it first before I buy a big old 750 milliliter because that's a good idea. I like this. Now I may search. Now I may look out for the big brother of this. I might do it. You never know. I'm kind of I'm hard. I'm a hard guy to judge. I might do it. I might not. But I'm, the chances are better now that I've tried it. So many particulates. Squirrel. Man, that's good apple pie. You know what? I'm not. Gonna, I'm not even gonna look for other nosing and tasting notes because I love apple pie. We're gonna stick with that. Could I, could I get more specific? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a scientist, so I can get as specific as you'd like. We wanna talk about hydrogen and oxygen molecules and how an atom can split uh, or an Eve can split. I'm your guy. I recommend going out and finding a 200 milliliter bottle of Peerless Small Batch Bourbon Whiskey and giving it a shot for yourself. It's so cool that they give, you, they give you the opportunity to buy it in a little cool bottle so you can try it before you buy it, pretty much. My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, put your mind on apple pie and loving it. Forever.